How much do you really need invested to truly live completely off of dividends? This is a question that many have wondered and for good reason. I've grown a portfolio that's now worth over seven figures and the portfolio's dividends pay for all of my living expenses and more. And if you stay tuned until the end of this video, I'm going to actually give you a look at one of my largest dividend portfolios and you can see exactly what's inside of it. Dividend investing when done correctly can completely replace all the income needed to cover all of your living expenses and more and with way less money than you might have thought. But in this video, we are going to talk about if dividend investing is even worth it, how much money you would need to invest in order to completely live off the dividends and maybe the cheapest method a dividend investor could use to completely live off of dividends. Now this is all right after you please drop a like in this video and subscribe for more content like this in the future. So first off, let's go over some basics. Dividend investing is a strategy that involves buying stocks that pay regular dividends to their shareholders. Now dividend payments are made by a company to its shareholder out of its profits or reserves. Dividends are typically paid quarterly, annually, or monthly, and the amount paid per share is determined on the company's board of directors. Now you might be asking yourself, why do companies even pay dividends? This seems too good to be true. Companies pay dividends to reward their shareholders and attract new investors. Dividends are also a way for companies to signal their financial stability and profitability. Companies that pay consistent and increasing dividends are often viewed as reliable and well-managed companies, which most likely would draw in a larger crowd of investors to potentially invest into that company. So it's a win-win for the company and for the shareholders. Now that you know what a dividend is, you might be asking, well, how do you invest in dividend stocks? Investors can invest into dividend stocks individually by buying single name stocks, or of course can invest into ETFs that buy a basket of dividend paying stocks. When selecting dividend stocks or ETFs, Investors should consider many factors, such as the company's financial health, the dividend history, and the dividend yield, just to name a few. Now, what is a dividend yield? This is a very, very important aspect of dividend investing and is going to be important when we figure out how much it's going to take to completely live off a dividend income. Now, a dividend yield is the ratio that indicates how much a company pays out in dividends relative to its stock price. Now, calculating the dividend yield is pretty simple. You just divide the annual dividend per share by the stock's share price. So for some simple math, for example, let's say a stock that's $100 per share pays $5 per year in dividend payouts to the shareholders. Well, if you divide the annual amount paid by the stock share price, you will get a 5% return, which would be that stock's dividend yield. Now, different stocks and ETFs have different yields. Some are going to be higher and some are going to be lower. And it's important to understand that just because a stock or ETF is offering a higher dividend yield, it doesn't necessarily mean that this stock or ETF is going to be a better investment. So if you do happen to be a newer dividend investor out there, don't get stuck into yield traps. Don't chase high yield, chase high quality companies or ETFs. So what are some of the other benefits of dividend investing? Dividend investing can provide investors with a reliable stream of income which investors like myself absolutely love. Also, dividend stocks and ETFs can have the potential for capital appreciation, which means your overall investment can grow in share price over time. They are also lower risk compared to growth stocks in many circumstances. And this is because dividend paying stocks are often established in financially stable companies with a long track record of success. Now, before we go into the actual amount that an investor would need invest into dividend stocks in order to completely cover all their expenses, let's talk about some of the risks of dividend investing. So like any other investment strategy, dividend investing carries risks. Companies may cut or suspend their dividends. It is definitely not a fun situation, but what it did is taught me to chase even higher quality investments in the future. And once again, like I said earlier, don't chase high yield. So in order to figure out how much money we would need to invest into dividend paying stocks or ETFs, in order to have the dividends completely pay for our lifestyle, we are first going to need to know what are the average living expenses for a single person in the United States, for example. Now, according to upwardly.com, it says the average living expenses for a single person can vary significantly by location but we can use some average numbers. The average monthly living expenses for a single person in the USA is $3,189, which is around $38,266 per year. 
So again, living expenses can definitely be all over the place. But this gives us an idea and a benchmark and a number that we can go off of to try to figure out how much we need to invest in dividend paying stocks to earn $38,266 per year. So the math is going to be pretty simple. All we have to do is plug in any stock or ETF. Right here we have SCHD, for example. And then we're going to have to see how much this stock or ETF pays out on a given year. So for example, SCHD pays around $2.64 per year in dividends paid. Now this is for one share of SCHD, which currently costs around $69 or $70 per share. So for example, if we were to try to figure out how much we would need to invest into SCHD to have the dividends cover all of our living expenses on a given year, we would take the average living expense for a single person in the United States, which is $38,266. And then we would divide that by the payout amount per year from SCHD, which is $2.64. If we divide that, we get 14,494 shares of SCHD that we would need in order to have the dividend completely cover our living expenses. Now to figure out how much money that would take, we would take the amount of shares times 70 because that's more or less how much SEHD costs right now. If we were to add that all up, we would need $1,014,628 invested into SEHD in order to live completely free and clear off of dividends. But wait, I know what you're saying, that's a lot of money. A lot of newer investors don't have $1,000,000 to invest in something like SEHD. But a lot of newer investors do have the hopes of investing into dividend stocks or ETFs in order to live off the dividends and maybe retire early. Another example we can use is the JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF, known as JEPI. Now, this is a much higher yielding fund. The problem is, is this fund is not going to appreciate and the dividend is not going to grow as fast as something like SCHD. So remember, chasing high yield is not necessarily a good idea. But just for an example, and to show you all that it could take much, much less money to have your dividends cover all your living expenses. Let's go back to the calculator and see what it looked like. So once again, if you go off of the single person's average living expenses in America, $38,266 divided by the annual dividend paid by a fund like JEPI, which is $6.19 per year, you would need just $6,181 of the JP Morgan Equity Income ETF in order to have the dividends completely cover your bills. Now, JetBee currently is trading for just under $55 per share, which means you would just need $340,000 invested into JetBee to completely cover all of your bills. But wait guys, there might even be a cheaper and possibly an even riskier method to reach that goal of having dividends cover all of your expenses ASAP. If we were to invest in SVOL, the Simplified Volatility Premium ETF, this ETF has a trailing 12-month dividend yield of 17.73%. Now, once again, this is just in theory. I'm not saying that this is a better option or a better idea than investing into something like SCHD or a higher quality fund with a longer track record of performance. But just for argument's sake, let's see how much it would take investing into SVOL to live off the dividends completely. So if we once again plug in the average living expenses divided by SVOL's annual dividend payout of $3.87 per share, we would need just over 9,887 shares of SVOL to have the ETF completely cover all of our expenses. Now the crazy thing is SVOL is just under $22 per share, which means in theory, you could invest just over $217,000 into a fund like SVOL and have the dividends completely cover all of your living expenses. So those were three different ETFs that an investor could in theory buy into and have the dividends completely cover all their living expenses. And as you can see, the amount that you would need to invest really depends on the investment vehicle an investor would choose. But for an investor like myself, as you can see right here, this is one of my largest dividend stock portfolios. I have over 25 different names in here of different stocks and ETFs. And some of my largest positions are things like Apple stock. I have 1,000 shares of Apple and over 640 shares of Realty Income right here. I also have very diversified ETFs like Devo. I have single stocks with a long history of paying and increasing their dividends like 1,000 shares of Verizon. So for me personally, I like to have a mix of higher and lower yielding stocks in order to earn a significant amount of income on a monthly basis, but also of course to have that potential long-term capital appreciation far, far down the road. 
If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, make sure to please drop a like in this video and subscribe for more. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks as always for stopping by, and if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.